Uh, we did shoulders and triceps today. You know, today is a little bit lighter workout. Um, not my normal uh, normal workout, but um, you know, I've been on been on the road and uh, it's been a, a hellacious trip. Um, we got in uh, late the other night, uh, lost all my luggage, so I've had the same clothes on for two days, and uh, you know, I shot all day with uh, with gasp, and uh, you know, so uh, it's been a been a long trip. So you know, we main thing is you still get your session in. I'm three weeks out. Um, I still feel like I can make improvement. I think I'm probably in about as good a shape as I was at the Arnold last year. Uh, I'm exactly where I want to be at three weeks out. Uh, I've got the next three weeks to tweak it and uh, take it to the next level. You know, if I, if I can bring in the detail in my back that I have in my legs, I don't feel anybody can touch me. Uh, you know, and um, I've got three weeks to do that, and um, I'm already in shape, so I don't have to kill myself. And um, I, I feel certain I'll be the best, uh, best, best package and best condition I've ever been in. And on stage in Columbus, you know, shoulders were my weakest body part way back when, when I was a, I was young. Um, I had these great legs and calves, and I was very, uh, you know, I don't have very, my clavicles aren't that wide, you know, uh, genetically. So I really had to bust my ass to bring my delts up. Um, military presses, you know, just the basics, man. I, I, before I got hurt back in August, I could military press 405 for a few reps. You know, uh, I'm back up to I could do 315 for 15 reps again. Um, and uh, that's just, I think, contributed more than anything to my shoulder growth, plus uh, doing side raises. You know, uh, I think doing them strict and not slinging and jerking, keeping my arms straight, isolates them more. And uh, I think that uh, when I started doing that a few years back, I think that was very beneficial. So uh, it just takes time. It's taken me a long time to bring them up. But now I think uh, shoulders are up there with the, with the chest and the legs. Uh, you know, Ghost Gym just isn't my place, man. It's not the, uh, the hardcore place that it used to be. You know, bodybuilding was born here at this gym. But uh, over the years, you know, it's kind of uh, become something else. I know back in the, probably the 90s, 80s, and of course the 70s, it was, it was the mecca of bodybuilding for the world. But uh, I feel Metroflex is... Uh, more of a mecca of bodybuilding than than this place is now. It's uh, it's full of a lot of you know how many bodybuilders are in here at any given time. You know, it's just uh, it's not uh, not my kind of place. You know, a lot of it's uh, honestly, it's just a little too weird for me. So, uh, you know, people uh, they don't respect your workout. You know, like uh, I'm sure back in the day they did, but uh, you know, people want to talk to you in the middle of your set. They want to, you know, interrupt you. Uh, there's no. Uh, from all I can see, very little gym etiquette, you know. So it doesn't matter how hard you're busting your ass. Somebody might come over and take your weights or try to take the machine where you're in between sets kind of thing. So um, not my place, you know. Metroflex, I can train as hardcore as I want. They blast the music and nobody ever bothers me, you know. So it's just my style. I'm, I'm as good as I've ever been as far as leanness and, and conditioning, but I, I want to take it to the next level. If I can just bring my get my back down to where my legs are, then I don't think anybody can beat me. I am eating more carbs, a lot more carbs. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, like today I've had 600 grams of carbs today. As far as my training goes, I do it myself. Uh, you know, if I, the only person I would uh, ever let help me was Brian Dobson. You know, uh, he actually was training me on legs here, uh, getting ready for the Olympia this last year. And every now and then, he, I still only list his, uh, his guidance and his advice. But uh, other than that, I do it on my own. We, uh, you know, Brian is... Uh, there's only been a couple guys in my lifetime I've ever let train me, uh, Brian being one of them. And... Uh, you know, um, I have a lot of respect for Brian. Uh, he, no one is a better motivator than Brian Dobson. The Mitch Flights, uh, you know, he, he'll get the most out of you every single time. And uh, he'll take you to new, push you past your limits, you know, and uh, make you you'll achieve things that uh, you didn't think you could achieve. So, uh, you know, that I haven't had anybody train me in years. And uh, last year when we were, I trained for the, trained for the Olympia, you know, I feel my body's coming to the point where I can really blast my legs again. And uh, so I enlisted uh, Brian to, you know, train me on legs, and uh, and we did some crazy shit, man. You know, it was the uh, first time in years I had to lay down, you know, during a workout. So uh, it was fun, though. You know, I do a lot of, uh, you know, just uh, I still do push downs. Uh, I don't do skull crushers anymore. I don't do close grip bench presses, uh, you know, because of the I still get some pain in it when I do things like that. I can, you know, I can incline and bench press, you know, heavy again. But uh, there's certain things that bother it. I do a lot of cable work. I still do, uh, you know, kickbacks, you know, very controlled and uh, slow. My push downs, I do a lot of rope pushdowns like I did today, you know, very controlled, hold everything, squeeze everything, and uh, they responded very well to that, you know, it's just a different style of training than, uh, than I've done, and uh, I think the change was good, everything happens for a reason, you know, when I first got hurt, I was uh, totally upset, I was six weeks in Olympia, you know, in incredible shape, and I felt I was going to make a big impact at the Olympia, and, um, you know, I, I couldn't understand why, uh, why it happened, but, you know, the good Lord, uh, 
everything happens for a reason. Sometimes only the good Lord above knows why why they happen. And um, you know, but uh, maybe this will be a good thing for me. It came back very uh, very quick. You know, I did this had the same injury in the other arm uh, a few years back, and um, it took. Uh, I came back from that injury too, and um, you know, I won uh, won two pro shows. I won the Europa and the Charlotte back to back. Uh, but it was about 10 months after the injury. So I had surgery August 15th. It's uh, middle of February, and I'm three weeks from the Arnold. So it came back very, very quickly. You know, I volume train them a lot, and uh, my form is much better. Uh, because of the injury, I haven't been able to go that heavy on them. You know, but I think just uh, giving them a rest after the injury, and then plus uh, a different style of training, they responded very well. I think they're actually bigger than before I got hurt. So go figure. I do my own diet. Uh, you know, and um, just uh, I know my body. No one knows my body better than me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just take care of it myself. I eat uh, a lot of carbs now. I went back to the way I used to do it. You know, I talked to George Farr, and uh, you know the pro, and um, you know he uh, gave me some suggestions and helped me a little bit. And uh, I just went back to doing basically uh, what I used to do. Um, I kind of tried the low carb thing for a while, and uh, it just uh, didn't really work out the way. Uh, I wanted to, you know, I'm like today I've had almost 600 grams of carbs today, you know, so uh, during the shoot today and everything, so, uh, and I look like this, you know, so, uh, you know, it, uh, I feel better, I look better, uh, my strength is better, and uh, I think it's just, uh, this is the way I used to do it when I was younger, you know, and um, I kind of tried the uh, low carb, you know, higher fat thing, and uh, it works, but you never come in full, you know. You can get lean, but you never come in like 100%, you know. You never come in really full and dry. You know, you, you'll be a little flat and you can still be dry, but you never come in, you know, the combination of both. So, uh, you know, this is uh, this is totally working out for me. You know, this is, uh, I'm just going back to the way I used to do it, you know, just to the basics. You know, I, this makes, you know, my training is basic. I do the basic exercises, to, you know, the... The building blocks that I've always done. So uh, same thing with the diet. You know, this is how I used to do it. Even as a teenager, when I won like the teenage nationals, man, I had strided glutes and I was ripped. You know, I had strided lower lats, all this stuff, and I was a kid. And uh, I was, I was th thinking back, I was like, I ate carbs back then, and I had a lot of carbs. So I just went back to what I used to do, and it works.